Hello and welcome to Peppermint Snail. A little background on this. One of the first apps that I got for the iPad Pro was the Procreate, and I was going to test it out. So my wife said, Why don't you draw a snail? And then later she said, Make it have a peppermint shell. So that's what ended up happening here. On the start here, you can see the lines being laid out, and I'm really just trying to figure out, even try to remember from my mind what a snail looks like. Here I was trying to work the shell in and kind of went ahead and changed the background color to something a little bit more visible. Started to sketch in some of the lines. Made it a little too big, decided to drop it down a little bit. As you kind of get your roughs laid out, you can, you know, figure out kind of if that's how you want it, and then you can make a new layer with it and lower the opacity of the last level and last layer, and you can start putting some more finishing touches on it. Had eyebrows on it. Pretty sure I removed those in just a little while. Gave it teeth, even though I don't think snails have teeth. It just seemed more cartoony and more smiley. There, I actually took a line art and changed the color to line art so it blend a little bit better once I put the colors in. And here I'm just putting in the flats for the colors. There, I'm actually making sure the teeth are white so they stand out. Now I'm actually just playing around with some of the textures that I found in Procreate. And here was a little bit difficult task. I was trying to figure out how to shade it. And through a little tutorial videos, I finally figured out, you know, I can use layers and make a shading layer and kind of do each one as its own. And you'll see I messed up two or three times there trying to figure out how the shell was going to look to actually, you know, resemble a peppermint. Pretty sure I actually Googled peppermint at this point. And here it was way too dark, so I took the actual white layer and just erased all the shadows that were from it to begin with. And just kind of played around with the color and opacity of some of those levels. And there I added a whole new layer and added in some different texture lines and I just I just threw random shapes. I think there's a heart in there somewhere. And here I was adding in some rim light. Really just trying to make it look more bright, shiny as it was going through. And then I figured, you know, we'll darken it up and lower the opacity just to give it a little bit of texture. And I actually went through some more of the textures that are inside Procreate. For most of this, I'm using just the airbrush tool but then I figured, you know, it's time for a little bit of a background. So we'll start working on some background. And on this background, really, I was just going, I, I had no idea where I was going with it to start with. But I remembered some stuff I did with spray paint back in the day where you can just like make a line. So really, I just used a selection tool and went through it and made those lines and then took the spray paint and just went darker each time with a little bit of purple to give it kind of a mountain background. And then went back to my sketch layer and just started sketching in the random tree that he's standing on tree stump and the thing with trees in you can pretty much make them how you want to look trees look every way as long as it resembles a tree people are going to think it's a tree anyway here I'm just kind of playing around with the lines and make it look you know a little more of a tree-ish again messing around with some of the texture apps just choosing my selection layer and uh, my tree layer and then going in just adding some of those textures in and adjusting the opacity down so I can kind of show the color through Adding in the shadows as I went through, and I figured I need a little bit of greenery at the bottom. So I had some greens at the bottom and in the trees. And then I decided to put the clouds at the top. Done the same way pretty much as I did the mountains, just added in those layers with the selection tool and the spray paint tool, and then just to finish it up. And there, there, that's the finished part right here. You can see the different layouts and there's a very end, I added actually a watercolor background behind it and just lowered the opacity behind it so it looks more like a watercolor paper. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more videos to come. Thank you guys. See you guys next time.